Well, hello and welcome to this special segment called as MC Pro Select Talk of the Day. I'm your host, Nikki Mershandani, and in this segment, we bring to you fundamentally strong investment stock ideas. Stock of the day today is Sipla. Let's get to know more about the company, a prominent pharmaceutical generic company, especially recognized for its expertise in respiratory therapy. Approximately 29% of its sales are derived from the US and 44% comes from India. Renowned as a leading player in chronic therapies, the company holds a significant presence in the realms of cardiovascular and diabetic treatment offerings. Recent setback a bit for the company, adverse regulatory inspection conducted at the Pithampura and Goa manufacturing facilities have resulted in significant setback for this company. These challenges have led to the launch of delays of its launch of crucial products such as Edware, which is designed for management of asthma, and Abrexen, an essential oncology drug. These disruptions in the manufacturing process have consequently hindered the company's ability to bring these vital medication to market in a timely manner. Now, remediation measures which seem to be track for the company. The anticipated launch of Edware and Abrexen is projected to take place during the next financial year, that is 2025. As a part of the preparation process, the reinspection for Goa Manufacturing Plant is scheduled for the second half of this financial year. What makes MC Pro constructive? A couple of reasons out there. First one is the considerable positive outlook for the US-based business. The outlook for the company is positively influenced by strategic realignment of its supply chain and efforts to mitigate drug shortages. Notably, the new quarterly baseline projection for the US business has been established at $200 to $210 million, reflecting a substantial increase compared to the previous base of $150 million in FY22. Another reason, domestic market share is improving. While experiencing a positive trend, the company's market share within chronic therapies has risen to 8.6%, demonstrating an advancement from the previous number of 8.4%. A strong pick is witness in the adoption of diabetic and inhalation therapies. Let's talk about the balance sheet profile, which seems to be strong, with a net cash flow of around 6,000 odd crore. Company has also outlined plans for investment aimed at modernization and capacity expansion. Near-term triggers for the growth, while new launches in peptides category, Lupron Depot plays a pivotal role as a crucial treatment option for both prostate and breast cancer. Field force addition in the domestic business is another need near term trigger out there for the company. By the conclusion of the second half of the financial year, the company anticipates a net increase of 500 medical representatives, a move strategically aimed at bolstering their market presence. This expansion in the MR team is expected to contribute to company's ongoing efforts to enhance its market share. Let's talk about the valuation. Fair, the earnings prospects have improved further. The stock currently trades at a valuation of 14.4 times one year forward EV to EBITDA. Growth is likely to mimic earnings growth. Well, with this, it's a wrap. Thank you so much for tuning in.